It's snapshot day and preview day, my dudes. Over the course of today's video, we've got a lot to talk about, including some brand new changes and the release dates of both 1.20.5 and potentially 1.21. If you enjoy these little showcase videos that I love making for you, let me know by tapping like and 3, 2, 1, let's go. Let's kick things back in time to an ancient to long distance time called Monday. I meant to say Tuesday. This week on Tuesday, I dropped this video. Right before I dropped that video, pre-release 3 dropped. Now, if you didn't know, I've been making shorts on these small pre-releases, so in the future, maybe check them out for like quick little updates, but pre-release number three, it was a pretty small pre-release, so I didn't make like that full video. One of the biggest changes in that update is the height at which fireworks will be launched from a dispenser. Also, I guess in an earlier snapshot or something, one block sprint running was actually completely broken. One block gap sprint running was completely broken in a snapshot, and now it works as it should. Again, I'm just uh, completely lacking the skill set required to do it. Boom! One day later, Minecraft 1.20.5 pre-release number 4. I think this was the quickest they were ever dropping pre-releases. For pre-release 4, I have literally nothing else to say. You pause the screen and read it right now if you want to. You know, I'm kind of sentimental and sad to see it go because Minecraft 1.20.5 snapshots have been going on since December of last year, but today we got what is most likely the very final 1.20.5 snapshot. That confirms our suspicions from earlier this week and last that 1.20.5 and 1.80, oh, you already know. Interestingly, in 1.20.5 release candidate number one, a change was added to the game, an option that is actually going to be removed in the next release, which I assume is going to be the first 1.21 snapshot. Calendars. Looking at the calendar right here, snapshot day is usually Wednesday, my dudes. Either next Wednesday or May 1st, two Wednesdays from now, is going to be the first 1.21 snapshot. Most likely. Now, 1.21 snapshot, the first one coming out May 1st, that's weird. That's only about a month out from their consistent release of early June for big updates. Two years in a row. Over on Bedrock side, it definitely does look like they're about to make this a three-peat, but I'm not too sure really what's going on with this update. By the way, are you curious about that wind charge discussion we had a little bit earlier on in pre-release number one? What if I jump and hit something? No, 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 no. Wind burst, it doesn't work on Java when you jump and hit something like it does on Bedrock. However, your easy way around this is stand on a block and jump down a little bit. And there we go. We get the burst. I mean, it's definitely not as easy as before, but it's still insane. Okay. Well, it doesn't work every time, but it's still insanely easy to pull off if you time your hit at like the last possible second. Next up, moving on, enter Minecraft to Bedrock Edition, specifically 1.21.0.22 Preview. So you already know how it goes. While we were just talking about wind bursting, there's only one thing that I could do, legally. Over on Minecraft to Bedrock, an unsuspecting target in the distance and in my hand, a wind burst 3 mace. I go ahead and jump and hit this thing and... Oh, it works just like it did before. See, there was a lot of interesting debate about the whole maze thing after I brought it up. And like I said, and I think it was 1.21.0.21 preview video, I feel like this is exactly how it should work. Like if you're running up on something, you jump up and hit something, why not a little bit of wind burst? Or heck, why not if you're just standing next to something, you jump up and hit something, even if you're not like jumping off of a block to hit that target. I don't know. I just really miss being able to wind burst like any second of the day. I thought it was so cool. Hey, uh, not to give you whiplash or anything, but paintings over on Minecraft to Java, has there been those new spicy paintings added? And uh, tragically, a little spoiler alert, no, there hasn't. But interestingly, I've noticed some of the capitalization on the current paintings are, they're a little bit weird. All right, now next up, I know we're kind of jumping all over the place today, but next up is the Minecraft launcher. Hey, by the way, Minecraft Legends first to birthday is today. It did not even make it to one year. Inside of your launcher settings, slide down to experimental settings and enable homepage. Check that box. When we enable homepage, the news tab flips over to the home tab. When we tap on the home tab, this is allegedly going to be the new opening page of the launcher or whatever, we get this brand new screen. We scroll down a little bit, we get information on the updates. For example, literally updates. For other example, things that have come to the marketplace and April Fools. Scrolling back up here, we get this nice little slideshow going on. If you want to pause the slideshow, you go ahead and pause it. You tap play. The slideshow will resume again. These are kind of like a big stories being showcased front and center inside of the launcher. 
Up top, we've got this cool little quick launch thing where I can launch some of the worlds that I've been in. I've noticed that the bedrock icons are 2D, meanwhile the Java ones are 3D. Over here, if I go ahead and tap this down right there, I have all of the games that I have inside of the launcher. If I tap this right there, then I can go ahead and get the other profiles that I've created for the game. Over on the Windows one, you can switch between Retail or Preview. These three little dots right here control your quick icons, and you can go ahead and lock icons onto the quick bar if you want to. And then if you check this box, you can go ahead and show a tile initial, which is going to be the first number of whatever that world is named. For example, this one is like the snapshot one. It's an L. I think it's beautiful. It's quite wonderful. <laughs> the one funny thing is down here, these images are like stretched real extra wide, which is uh, definitely a thing, but I'm sure that'll be fixed later. This new home tab is definitely much better than the news tab that I don't Bruh. even know when the last time it was that I tapped on it. Now take a seat, take a seat, because today's Minecraft preview is absolutely gigantic for the release of Minecraft 1.21. That's right, I'm calling this world 1.21 soon because we slide into experiments and oh my god where did it go we've been talking about this one over the past couple of weeks too and yes sure enough minecraft 1.21 toggle it's gone just the villager trade rebalancing which isn't part of 1.21 by the way now inside of this brand new freshly created world i would like to try a little bit of something out first things first spectator mode slide under the ground and before too long we should be able to rotate around and find a trial chamber somewhere at last we've located the trial chambers now taking a look around at this chamber right off the bat this is very familiar looking to minecraft to but that's pretty cool what we're looking for more specifically here though is some of those old chambers or that new really cool trap door room chamber if we have the old chamber then it hasn't been updated all right i really love this one by the way it's like a whole maze room in earlier previews i found quite a few bugs with the generation of this room but it looks good nice and smooth and by the way i really love that they're locking some of the stuff behind like a like a window or whatever you gotta like walk up to the grate and take it out to get to the vault now, very interestingly, let's use the key. The moment of truth. Ah, yes. Yes, they work again. In last week's preview, the vault seemed to have been basically, essentially, entirely broken. But no, no, no. They work again. I'm also noticing in this particular chamber, copper bulbs that are a whole lot brighter. However, as soon as I move back out into the hallway, they all get really dim again. This is a parody problem with Minecraft to Java. You see, all of these bulbs are not meant to be fully dark. They're not necessarily all meant to be fully bright ones, but definitely not all fully dark ah and yes unfortunately even leading up to the release of minecraft 1.21 exterior mobs are still manifesting themselves inside of the structure what in the world is going on you need to show your despicable green self right out to the door not so fun fact we have so many of these copper things inside of minecraft 1.21 but did you know a lot of them just now got a recipe so for this one, you've got to keep in mind that, to be honest, the stone cutter is still probably going to be the best move when it comes to creating copper things. However, over inside of the crafting table, things like oxidized chiseled copper are now actually going to have a recipe. Another thing that is just now getting a recipe is the copper grate block inside of the crafting table. Now, again, keep in mind, this is a one to one recipe inside of the crafting table. Meanwhile, over here inside of the stone cutter, this is a one to one four recipes so maybe just use the stone cutter to begin with and tragically the expensive door is still going to go into the update i wish this made like six doors at least that feels like it would be a little bit better same with the trap doors like two come on like at least double it maybe even triple come on mm, yes minecraft potions have actually gotten a big update today well, actually, correction, a couple big updates. So first things first, all of the potions that have been in the game for a long time, take a look at the particles that are popping up around me. As I start to drink at different potions with different effects, no longer will the particles all just be blended together. Now, if you take a close look at my effects, as this happens, uh, maybe poison was a bad idea, but you take a close look at the effects, they're different colors corresponding to the different effects that I'm currently representing. These different colored effects, for those of you extra in tune with like the logistics and details of the game well it's gonna make it way easier to predict what somebody is coming at you with and maybe like say a pvp situation whether that's strength or regen in the world of a minecraft 1.21 updates that i'm always forgetting about these brand new potions wind charging weaving infestation and oozing all of these potions are now going to have the duration of three minutes that's a parody update the breeze in combat is going to behave a little bit differently now when taking this buddy on he will actually slide around in combat from time to time see check this out as he like walks around i think that's the whole sliding thing that they're talking about 
On the other hand, the other Minecraft 1.21 mob, the bog. The bog is now going to have the correct poison arrow delay shooting time thing. That's going to be three and a half seconds to match it perfectly with Minecraft and Java. Not so good anymore, are you, buddy? Get out of here. You're trash. Shaders for Minecraft Bedrock. We were just talking about it like a couple of days ago. Or in other words, deferred technical preview. We've got a couple of new features, including color grading and tone mapping. These both sound like they're going to be really, really big features. Directly related to the deferred rendering stuff, we also have a brand new option inside of the menu here. It's called Remove Texture Limit. By enabling Remove Texture Limit, we'll remove texture limit and load textures instead of using the pink texture. Now, last but not least today, release dates, release dates, release dates. With the release of Minecraft 1.20.5, release candidate number one, we got a little bit of information as to when this update comes out, and that information is next week. Judging by how actually large 1.20.5 and its bedrock equivalent 1.20.80 is, they're gonna probably release on the same day. Usually big bedrock updates like 0.20, 0.60, 0.70, they usually release on a Tuesday. That means you're going to want to subscribe and definitely check out one of these two videos next because from the looks of things, next week, Dogs and Dillos will release. I'm looking forward to the future 1.21 with the features out of experimental of Minecraft Bedrock. That means whatever the next major release is, it's going to include everything that we've seen in 1.21 so far. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Tap like and subscribe. There's a chance I will be live tomorrow, but I do have some other things going on, so I'm not too sure if I will make it. Stay tuned. I'll definitely tweet a little bit more about that and maybe even make a community tab post. It's been me, Waddles. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.